Hey folks, welcome to week 10 financial statement analysis as we're winding down the semester. Hard to believe that it's the first week in April and will be done in a few short weeks. Uh, what should you be working on this week in the modules? Uh, module 6, uh, we have a couple of things. Transitioning from historical to future, focus is really on making assumptions. As we start to forecast, it's going to be built on the work that you've already done, but we need to make a series of assumptions. This is the most important thing uh, in this section. The quality of your valuation is going to be a function of how well you do on the forecast. There's a LinkedIn learning module called Financial Modeling and Forecasting fi Financial Statements. And then there is a recording of the class we did in April of 2020 talking about valuations. So these things should keep you busy this week and into next week. I will also have out there shortly um, a, a sample, a better sample of applying the assumptions to steel dynamics. You'll see a little bit more about that. We'll talk about the qualitative and the quantitative as it applies to uh, steel dynamics. Um, next thing coming up is that there is a quiz on Tuesday, April 20th and available from 12.01 a.m. to 11.59. Uh, it's worth 15% of your grade. It's gonna cover IFRS, analysis, financials, and assumptions. You may find that in some of the presentations that we have on assumptions that some of the questions are sort of laid out. So make note of that as you're going uh, through that. Uh, for project three, um, it is worth 16 points and is due no later than May 3rd. Uh, the date cannot be extended. Uh, we're down to the end of the semester and, and we just don't have the time to get everything done. Uh, I revised the instructions as of this morning, which is Monday, April 5th. Uh, watch the video. It really will be helpful for you. Uh, it will, of course, take a couple of days to do. Don't wait till the last minute. Uh, get it out of the way. The weather's going to be warmer and you're going to want to be outside. Uh, so get it done and you got other projects so get P3 done um, soon uh, and make sure it does have an audio and or video overview uh, the discussion project uh, there's still several presentations that need to be completed by April 21st and again this is one of these things that dates can't be extended because we are down to the end uh, there's a number of dates and times that I've put available here um, I need you to sign up this week Okay, so sign up for one of these slots. We'll have everybody filled, and when you get next week's update, you'll have everything you need to plan out the remaining. Remember, you need to participate in five of them. Many of you have done all five or are real close. These are the dates that are available. Uh, so sign up, you, send me an e you sign up by sending me an email telling me which one you want, first come, first serve. If you're not doing the assignment, please let me know, or I'm just basically going to assume that if you don't sign up this week, you're not doing it. So uh, next week, we'll get our list of the final dates for present times for presentations. Uh, I've tried to spread them out throughout the day and through the week so that everybody can participate. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. I will work to get the projects graded in the next day or two so that you'll be ready to go. And have a wonderful week.